Well, just talking about India, it could make history today with its mission to be the first country to land on the south part of the moon, closest to the South Pole. Uh, let's take a look at these images, which were taken by India's Vikram robotic lander three days ago as it neared Earth's satellite. Only three nations have ever touched down on the moon and none have made it to the South Pole. Sky's India reporter Neville Lazarus joins me now uh, from India. Uh, hopes are high, Neville. Exactly. Uh, there is a lot of excitement, but also a lot of anxiety uh, out here because uh, the predecessor, the Chandrayaan-2, crashed. Uh, the mission failed. It crashed into the surface of the moon four years ago. Uh, but there is a lot of excitement now. There's a surge in national pride. Uh, if this is, is, is a success, it will make India the fourth country in the world after the US, United States, uh, the erstwhile Soviet Union and China. Uh, to land a spacecraft on the moon, but the first on the southern side uh, of the moon, which is uh, of great interest uh, for scientists because uh, of uh, ice, uh, water ice uh, prevalent out there, uh, which gives a big boost to the scientific community and the explorers for future missions. There, there are possibilities of uh, um, a, uh, a station on the moon which will then help propel other missions uh, after that. Uh, but there is a lot of uh, uh, constraints in terms of India's uh, uh, missions to, to space, uh, primarily because of finances. Jane, just to give you an example, uh, the big, uh, this Chandrayaan mission has costed $74 million. Uh, the big Bollywood uh, blockbuster Interstellar costed $165 million, double this amount. Uh, Gravity, another big Bollywood film, $100 million. So uh, India is trying to make that balance between spending on space missions like these uh, and other programs of poverty al uh, alleviation, uh, health, education, etc. But a big, uh, big boost if, if India manages a success in this landing and a lot of excitement around here in India today.